What's going on, y'all? Just got to watching that uh, Kanye West interview. The mug got me thinking. It's kind of like the same path I've been on. I know I ain't nothing compared to Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? Cause look at him. But the thought process, man, like leaving things behind, and start looking after you. Like I said before in one of my videos, man, it's crazy to see. I mean, people say they'll support you in your face and wish you good in your face, but when you actually start doing something positive, like you don't see, you can see the likes, you can see the, the comments, you can see the subscriptions, you can see all that, man. You can tell who really, who really supports you, who really don't. And family-wise, man, you'd be shocked to see who really, really waiting for your downfall, man. Not really praying for your uplift, your trying to uplift your world, fuck. But uh, but back to the Kanye West thing, man. I was listening to him. I just got to watch Black Panther. So to me. It was like the Black Panther, uh, Kanye, and uh, was the Nat Turner. Like to me, those are all the same ideas, but just in different people. And I seen so many Killmonger uh, memes and so many people supporting that Wakanda this, Wakanda that. And even in the movie Black Panther, you seen how they killed Killmonger and then went ahead and did what he was gonna do in the first place. Yeah, he was a little bit radical, just like uh, Kanye was saying that uh, Trump is, but. He's uh, Kanye saying that you need somebody radical enough to challenge stuff to make a change. So that's what he's trying to relate Trump to. Uh, trying to relate Trump to uh, what his thoughts is, but just like Nat Turner, uh, I'm gonna go back to what Kanye said. Kanye said slavery was a choice. And I understand what he meant by that. I don't agree with what he meant. I mean, agree with his words that he used, but I understand what he meant. And if we can sit down and start trying to get mad and get so emotional about things, we can understand what his, his words meant behind it. He said slavery was a choice because just like during that time, why didn't, okay, let's say we had uh, eight people on, eight white people on the plantation versus 45 black people. As you can see in the movies in Django, I know slavery was different at the time, but as you can see in the movies, man, it's 45 to eight. You know what I'm saying? When does it, when does it, as, if it's eight people versus 45 who's in bondage, you know what I'm saying? Like, when does it not become a choice? It's a choice to sit there and have 45 people in bondage versus eight. So Nat Turner took it upon himself and gathered a whole bunch of other people and started killing them in their sleep. So that's what Kanye meant. Some people see slavery as, okay, we're not getting out of this, so we gonna stay here. And Nat Turner said, fuck this. We're gonna see it a different way, and we're gonna do it a different way. So he started killing white people in their sleep on the plantation. So that's the same thing Kanye meant. He's like, at what point, do we rise up and fight back and spend our life dying to fight back rather than just spending our life accepting what it is? Like, when the kids were born, we told our kids to do not to do this, not to do this, because the uh, slave master would kill them. And that, and, and that helped the slave master by getting the kids in line. But if you had more radical kids saying we're not going to do this, just like they say the millennials are radical people, then you will see some change because these people are too crazy to not sit, these people are too crazy to sit there and take what we've been taking. That don't make them any less or more than what we are, but there's just somebody who's brave enough or crazy enough, and depending on the mindset that you are, to do something different. So I understand what Kanye meant. To me, I still see Kanye as a genius because I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to sell clothes. I want to do all this stuff. Man, I like music, but who, what other, what other person besides Michael Jordan? Well, I don't even know Michael Jordan clothes. I mean, if it's this much, I probably wouldn't buy it. But Kanye West selling fucking clothes for four hundred fifty dollars, shoes for I don't know, like outrageous prices. Y'all buying them? Like, what other black person is doing that? What other black person gets clothes in the store right now that costs four hundred fifty dollars that people are waiting on to buy? And but people calling Kanye West crazy. That man is a genius. I understand, like J Cole is that man there. You know what I'm saying I'm not even a huge J Cole fan, but it's like every time I hear that man, he speaks fucking motivation, and inspiration. You know what I'm saying? You can't not not like J Cole. But I understand what J Cole be saying. Just like he said, in five years that dude would be on Love and Hip Hop, and we ain't even got to point out who it is. You know what I'm saying? You was once popping. If you if Gucci Mane ain't, ain't on Love and Hip Hop, and as far as I know, he got his own show with all that shit. But he ain't on Love and Hip Hop. But anyway, that's another story for another time, man. But to me, slavery would have ended a long time ago. If we chose to to fight to the death for it, instead of waiting on the government or Abraham Lincoln or Emancipation Proclamation, like what makes Kanye West different than Harriet Tubman? You know what I'm saying? What makes him different than Nat Turner? 
all those people said we're not going to take this no more and we're going to do something different about it and you can't tell me if i'm if i'm a, if i'm a slave if i'm a slave and i gotta wait why the hell would i come back in these days these people especially y'all can't tell me y'all got some selfish people around y'all right now if you a slave or they a slave they leave they don't come back to save you don't you think what harry tell me did was crazy Coming back to slave, save more and more and more, but her radical movements sparked more radical movements to help other people. That's what the mindset behind free thought and Kanye West is saying, man. But let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Like, subscribe, show your boy some love. Oh yeah, let me show you what I got, the Mike H uh, white question shirt. Y'all let me know if y'all like it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can barely see the crown on that mug, you know what I'm saying? But I'm probably gonna get with some more people. Also on a t-shirt giveaway, since, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanna do something different. I wanna do something special for y'all. Whoever the person is, I might make you a custom shirt, man, just for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just for you. But uh, like I said, y'all like these videos, turn the notification bell on. I'm going to give up some people down here to, uh, to work my editing, man. I got a lot more to come. Stay tuned for the house video, man. Mike H, show you boys some love.